Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do the infamous Eddie Van Halen elephant noise trick on guitar. Now all the way back in 1986, MTV did a mini documentary on Van Halen and the guys were all backstage goofing about and Eddie was there making his guitar sound like an elephant and also a horse. Let me do my elephant for you, okay? We reposted this clip a little while back as a YouTube short and so many guys were like, how did he make his guitar sound like an elephant? So today I'm gonna to show you. You will need a guitar with a whammy bar. I'm literally doing this on a 63 Strat, so I'm risking breaking the whammy bar, which is not recommended. Um, you probably want like a super Strat or something like that. And to get enough gain, I'm also using a metal zone. So I'm literally going through the wall here for you guys. Like, pl Please drop a like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. So here's how it actually sounds. Just a quick disclaimer guys, uh, if you have an elephant and it sounds like that, uh, get it checked out. Okay, so it's actually quite a simple trick once you know it. It uses a combination of three different natural harmonics. Just quickly, if you guys don't know how to do a natural harmonic, let's take the 12th fret. You don't actually press down, you hover your finger over the string and pull off as you strum. So you go. It could take a second to get used to that. Now the three different positions in this trick are the fifth fret on the G string, the seventh fret on the B string, and then the 12th fret on the high E string. You need to make sure your guitar's volume knob is rolled all the way down. Then you play these different three harmonics together, like that. And what happens is it creates this really dissonant sound so that when you roll up the guitar's volume knob, it gives a real clashing sound which transcends into uh, an elephant sound. Now the last part of this is you have to have the whammy bar depressed when you roll up the guitar's volume knob. So let's go through it all once together. Let's strum the harmonics. Depress the whammy bar and then roll up the guitar's volume knob. Now you can see I let the, uh, the harmonics ring out a bit too long there, but let, if I do it faster, look. You can see at the end there, I dipped the whammy bar all the way back down as well because it just adds to the whole vibe of it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, that's just a little random trick that Eddie would throw in. And uh, yeah, just a, just a fun one today. Maybe you could throw this in out of context at like a jazz gig or something and just freak out the whole audience. Um, there's definitely a use for it somewhere. So. so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on some crazy giveaways and we'll catch you soon. Thanks again and cheers. Bye. <laughs>